Hello everyone, welcome to another day in Shroud of the Avatar. I just found, with the help of Discord chat, hmm. somebody told me of a nice player, for, nice area for, to take new players. So I thought I would use our nice, fresh, out of the box character, who, who, who is as it comes. And I thought we would just show you the area. Now, the first thing we need to do is the character can't carry much, so one of the first skills that you should look to buy, it's going to bring up the character sheet, is we can only carry 87. At the moment, we've got 60.6, and we're not carrying too much at all. So, I've cut down on all the tools he's carrying. Um, he picked up a key somewhere but it's only 0 0.1. I'll show you a place where we can put that. And we have a spare pickaxe and some arrows so we're not really carrying much. So to overcome that we need to increase our strength ability. Now to do that you need to go to the combat trainer. I've already purchased it with this character here. But it's this in the tactics tree down here, you need to be in inventory. So if you're in crafting, go into inventory. Then if you're on something else, if you just come down to tactics, you'll notice you've got this one here, which hopefully you've got to 20. If not, wait until you get to 20 and then, then buy this one here, which is strength. It'll cost you 100 gold. So and that's the next one you want to start to train up. That will give you the ability to carry more items in the game. So, and you don't want to buy everything. If, you know, we've got the gold, we could buy all those. If we started training, our ball XP would not go up at all. So, we're just going to train up on the strength at the moment. Once we're training at the moment, to help our character is just this one here. Again, we could choose train intelligence. But again, but too much our pull won't go up so at the moment we'll train on strength then the next one I would say is train on intelligence that increases your XP ability sorry the blue line your focus ability so now we've bought that I'll just show you where you can store your items in the game in Soul Town it's inside this building here you will see that there is a banker. They're in every mm. town. And I've already put some arrows mm. in here. Mm. As you can see, we're still over encumbered, so we're going to put the pickaxe in there. And we're going to put the key, which I picked up, in there as well. So now it's given us more of our carry weight back, but we still don't have a lot. So we'll just close the windows down and we'll go into the catacombs. And for some reason it thought I wanted to talk to the cat. Right. Out we go. Just leaving the crafting area of Soul Town here, and we're going to take a right just as soon as we come out past the vent public player vendors in the game. They're prettily, their well dressed crafting area. We find a cemetery over here. And just at the back of the cemetery, a light on, we find the catacombs. So let's go in and see what we find. Now, as that loads, for any people that are new to my videos, if you click on the subscribe button in the YouTube page, you'll get to know more of when I bring out more content. So, now the game's loaded, we find ourselves down in the 
Cat Crimson. So if you find it dark, just bring up your light spell. And we'll find we've got a skeleton. Now all of the creatures down here aren't damaging us much at all. So we can just quite happily, we don't have to keep on running around. We can just sit there quite happily. Fighting away. There we go. Let's come out of combat. To, if you come out of combat, you'll recover a lot quicker. Let me come up here. Go down. This wall's been broken out by somebody. And here is a mining node for some copper ore. So we'll just mine that. All the basic tools you're given when you first start. So, we carry on down, we find another baddie. In fact, there's two of them, there's one over there as well. But as I say, one. the other. Let's say with all humanoid based creatures, skeletons is, is included in that. They all they all give you a little gold reward as well. So it's always handy because our gold is slowly increasing as well. There's another copper mine, copper node. Bring up a character sheet. As you can see we've got 65.7. And when we pick these up, you can see we're slowly getting up to our limit. Even when we pick up items like the bows at a weight of three, the gold of course weighs nothing, but the arrows weigh a little bit. But we would have used more in killing them. Now if you haven't picked one up, you can pick up a pickaxe. So you've got a spare one. And come into this area, put some more light on. Go anywhere you want. They are relatively large, the catacombs. You find these little... certain you've got a little red target on to make certain that's the person you're targeting of course there we go and one over here These are their crafting tables, which you'll see them throughout the game. This one's a cooking station, alchemy station, and blacksmithing station. At this point in the game, you probably won't be looking into them, but that's what they are. It's getting attacked by a mage behind us. Now carry a little bit more, we just leveled up strength. That means we can carry just that little bit more. Just leveled up on some health, so that means we would have added something to this bar up here. It means you can stay in combat longer. Again, we put one of these in the bank. The key to the catacombs. 
attack. There are notes dotted around, you can have a read. Sometimes they might give you a look, give you some hints of what to do. Let's carry on down and through. There's a storage area of some kind. Oh, look, they're all asleep. Let's wake them up, shall we? This one here is the gust ability, which of course just blows them back. Now we're starting to carry more than we can carry. We've got 90.04 of 88, which now we have a, a penalty, which is minus 2.7% on movement, 8.05 on dexterity. At the moment it's not a problem, so carry on just a little bit longer. So you can see it's not making much of a difference to him, but it will over time. Okay. Oh, there's quite a few in here, we'll just withdraw a bit, we don't want to take too much damage at once. Of run back. That'd be helpful. There we go. It's an archer. Now we'll just wait for ourselves to recover. We'll use a bit of healing there. See, we're over and moving slower now, so we'll start to head for the exit, which is up here. That gives you an idea of which way to go, so you can never get lost down here. That's why it doesn't matter which way you go, you can always find the way to the exit. Take all of those. What we'll do is we'll quickly mine these nodes. Seems we're on our way out. So as we slowly take on more, the penalty gets higher, of course. So here we are, we've got a movement rate of minus 6.6. .6. If we take this on, we now have 7.2%. So it will slow us down until a point where the hobbling along. So it's still not too bad, but it's now starting to affect us. And just get my light up. There was the exit. There we go. Let's go up here. We came through here. We have we had the skeleton. I'll have to take him on. The skeleton that wasn't hitting us hardly at all. I'm saying you don't have to worry about. It's only when you get 
too many people. You have to worry what's down here. And again, our weight's gone up. Now got a minus 10.9 on movement. Which again, you can see we can still move, but we're getting slower. So we'll just exit the mine. No, not mine. The dungeon. Here we are, up on the above ground again. It's night time when we don't went down, it's daytime now. So we'll take our slow jog back into the town and then we can sell our wares. So we're just going to go over to our little friendly blacksmith over here and we're going to sell everything but the arrows if you haven't got the key I would keep the key of course but seeing as we put one in the bank earlier because the key is to other areas in the catacomb so you can explore and find for yourself oh, I've selected everything if you hit down the shift key click down the bottom that will highlight them all and if you click on one move it you'll see it's got the number of items that you're taking and if you drop it then it'll take a group of items so that's worth 245 gold so we'll sign sign for the exchange and that of course would become out of encumbrance and our weight has dropped so what you can do is you can just go in and out of the mines for a little while, build up your experience as a character, and then you can even use the gold to buy better weapons and such like. Mm. Slowly improve your character before you go into the main part of the world of Novia. So it's a good place to start it is the Soul Towns sewers. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you have don't forget to subscribe and feel free to leave comments and thank you for watching.